Hi guys, welcome back to Foretaste. Thanks for joining us again. Today we'll be making a very yummy, delicious dish, I think. And it is a dish that's very close to my heart as me and my husband met over um, laksa. And there were many more laksa dates that followed from that. And uh, yeah, here we are today. Um, laksa is also my favorite dish in the world and we're going to chuck it in one of these bowls. So let's get started. Ingredients you'll need for this recipe include veggies, tofu, fried tofu, coconut cream, laksa paste and some noodles, bean or rice noodles. Details will be in the description. I've left detailed steps in the description. In this video I've done things slightly differently um, as I'm usually time poor so I try to multitask and make my meals in the shortest time possible. In this recipe I had firm tofu, so that's what I use today, but I'd highly recommend using the fried tofu. You can grab this from Woolworths or your local Asian grocer. So firstly I'm going to prepare my tofu and place it in a clean tea towel to remove all the liquid and I've just sliced it in half so hopefully that can remove more liquid and then cover it with a tea towel and place something heavy on top. Okay, time to turn the kettle on. While that water is boiling, I'm going to start preparing my veggies, starting with the mushrooms. I'm slicing these mushrooms. One mushroom is a little larger, so I'm gonna slice those slices in half. Once again, I want them to cook evenly. First thing you wanna do is prepare your noodles. So now that water is boiled, I'm gonna place the noodles in a bowl and cover with boiling water. And then I'll put um, something over the bowl and put it aside and I'm gonna keep checking on it. So in this recipe, I'm using these bean vermicelli noodles. I like using the bean noodles over the rice noodles. I feel like they stick together a little longer. Now I'm going to place my water into the pot and turn that hot plate on. You want it about maybe medium heat. So while that stovetop warms up, I decided to quickly slice the capsicum. So here I'm removing the seeds and the stalky bit and I'm also going to remove a little bit of the, the white bits on the side and then I'm going to slice it into strips. So quickly I'm going to measure my laksa paste. This is a vegetarian and vegan one that I was able to find uh, but I'll put a link in the description and see if you can find it at your local health food store. So once this is measured I'm going to place it into the water in the pot and then I'm going to give it a stir. So once that paste is mixed through I'm going to come back and prepare another veggie. So here I'm starting off with the carrot. I'm just going to give it a peel, chop off the ends and then I'm going to chop them into some sticks so they can match the capsicum slices. So I've chopped the carrot in half and then I'll chop that half in half again lengthwise and as you can see I'm just making them into little carrot sticks that aren't super thin or aren't too thick either. I'm keeping an eye on the pot at the same time giving it a stir and I'm quickly going to peel my onion and chop it into wedges. So I've been keeping an eye on my noodles also and they're ready, they're soft and perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain the water and then let it sit for a bit. While they completely drain, I've got a pan on the stove top and I've turned the heat up to medium or slightly higher and I've drizzled a bit of olive oil ready to work the mushrooms. While that oil is heating up, I'm gonna cut up my tofu into cubes 
and place this into the Luxa pot. On second note, we probably should add this after we've added the coconut cream. So once my pan is hot, I'm going to place those mushrooms in, also giving the tofu a little stir next to me. Really quickly, I'm going to plate up the noodles in a bowl. You can easily leave this to the last step if you wish. While keeping an eye on the mushrooms, stirring them as we go, I'm going to go ahead and add the coconut milk in the pot to the laksa. I would totally recommend using coconut cream instead of the coconut milk. It's just going to make it that little bit more creamier. And I just had coconut milk at home, so that'll work fine if that's what you have at home at the time. Uh, just a little tip with the coconut cream or coconut milk. If it's a cooler day, you can pop it into a container with some hot water, let it sit in there and be covered. And that way it'll completely liquefy and you can tip it in. No worries. I've been keeping an eye on the mushrooms as we go, they're a little softer now, adding a pinch of salt. I've also swapped the plate so the pan is on the bigger plate now. Back to my multitasking, I'm going to chop up the coriander, get rid of the little end bits, fold, fold, fold and slice finely. So I'm going to place the onions in with the mushrooms now. I don't mind that onions have a little crunch to them, otherwise if you want your onions thoroughly cooked through, you can add them in just before the mushrooms or with the mushrooms. So once you're satisfied with those onions, let them cook through a little bit, then you can place the mushrooms and onions into the main pot with your laksa. So I've added a little bit of oil and I'm going to chuck the capsicum in and later we'll also add the carrots. I just want a little bit of a crunch to them so I don't want them in for too long. This is totally up to you, personal preference. If you want the veggies raw, completely cook or with a bit of a crunch, it's your choice. I've also chucked the broccoli in the pot here. We're nearly ready to serve. I try to make sure we have greens with everything. I've also added a little pinch of salt on the carrots and the capsicum. At about this point I thought those carrot pieces were just a touch too thick so it took them a little while before they could soften. So we're having cooked capsicum with a crunch to the carrots. If you want both crunchy have your carrots a little thinner or you could reverse the order placing the carrots in first and then the capsicum. All right, so once you're satisfied with these carrots, then we're ready to plate up. So I've got the laksa here with the rest of the veggies and the carrots and the capsicum. You can place a bit of coriander on the noodles. If you have bean sprouts, this is where you can add them as well. Bean sprouts are amazing and you can find them at your local Asian grocer. So I'm going to add a little bit of this carrot and capsicum now and then I'll top it up with the laksa liquid with the veggies and make sure you get a bit of everything in there, broccoli, mushrooms, tofu. To finish up you can garnish with some coriander and I like a little squeeze of lemon juice on top and that's it. You can enjoy. It's time to taste test now so I'll get Junior to come on in and we'll try it. Yeah, so you want to kind of, don't forget your noodles are at the bottom so you can mix it all up or if you take a scoop make sure you get some of those noodles. Let's try the tofu first. Oh, okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, that is pretty, nice. It's pretty messy eating noodles on camera, so it probably shouldn't go for the noodles. <laughs> That's good. Um, it's, it's completely up to you how you want your veggies. And if you want veggies, um, we love mushroom and like the recipe on the back of the bottle says to put mushroom powder in 
Um, so if you want to grab that, you can chuck that in. Um, and um, your veggies, it's up to you. Um, if you want them really cooked or if you want them raw, probably don't want, want, want. You probably don't want mushrooms raw. Um, yeah, you could um, slice up the carrots or grate them. Have them like nice and thin. Um, you can have your cups cream roll. Yeah, we, we like them slightly crunchy. So. so what do you think? Mm. <clears throat> Super easy to make. Um, but let you guys go. We're gonna finish this. <laughs> um so yeah, let us know what you think in the comments. Um, let us know if you want to try this, see any tips. Um, and uh, we hope this video has inspired you to make some food from home and eat more plants. So thanks for joining us here at Four Taste and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>